Let's mix our vitamin B12. It comes in powder form and we need it to be in liquid form. So we will be adding sterile water and that will convert it to liquid. So we need to take our mixing syringe, which is a 12 ml syringe, but we only need 10 mls of sterile water. So you will only be drawing up the sterile water to the 10 ml line. First, you want to clean the top of each vial with an alcohol swab. And you wanna do this anytime you're going into a vial with a syringe. Then you're gonna to want to draw up some air into your mixing syringe. And this just makes it easier to withdraw the sterile water into the syringe. So you can push the air in and then invert the vial, pull back on the plunger, and you're going to withdraw 10 mLs of sterile water into the mixing syringe. Next, you're going to add the sterile water to the vitamin B12 vial, and this will only be done once. When you're done, you no longer need your mixing syringe or your bottle of sterile water. Then you can roll the vial of B12 between your hands to mix it. Let's draw up a dose of vitamin B12. We need to take the stopper off the end of our syringe and we won't be replacing that. Then draw up some air into your syringe by pulling back on the plunger and you're gonna be injecting air into your vial to make the medication or B12 flow easier or more quickly into your syringe. And let's see if the one syringe of air was enough. And it looks like we need more air in the vial because it's coming out very slowly into the syringe. So I'm gonna push the B12 back into the vial and withdraw the syringe. And then I'm gonna pull back on the plunger again and inject more air into the vial. And we'll see if this is enough to make the B12 flow easier or quicker into the syringe. And now you can see this is flowing much better into the syringe than it was before. So sometimes you may have to add an additional syringe of air to be able to withdraw the medication easier. And now we have our dose of vitamin B12 for the week ready to go.